So things are not going as planned. We can have that painted look in our journal, but in literally no time. <laughs> you make the world a better place. Hello, happy March plan with me, pre plan with me video. I had a lot of fun doing this last month, just showing the behind the scenes of everything that kind of goes into planning in your bullet journal. And this month I am going to do a cactus theme. I did a plant theme last year, two years ago. I don't know. I did it in July. I do know that. I'll have the video just linked somewhere on the screen for you. I think that, and I actually want to encourage people to reuse old ideas. If you are an artist, if you're creating bullet journal spreads, pulling from previous things that you did and making them new again is so much fun, especially in the current style that you're using. So in that video, I just used pens and markers. And today I'm going to be pulling out my gouache paints and painting a whole bunch of different cactus plants. I haven't painted in a while. It has probably been since October actually that I've <laughs> that I've pulled out my gouache paints. So it's been a while. I miss it. I want to start creating stickers with my actual painted art. So that is this month's challenge and I'm just going to hop right into it kind of sketching things out going in and painting them and then making them into digital stickers for both you and I to use this month so we can have that painted look in our journal, but in literally no time. <laughs> So I literally have no idea what colors I'm going to be using other than green. So I thought I would just get the greens out and then the blues and yellow so I can create different swatches on my piece of paper so I can get a better idea of what colors I want to end up using. So I'm really just putting the smallest amount possible onto the trays so I can get these swatched up, mixed together and find those perfect colors. I also personally like to leave in a bit of space in between each of the colors. I don't know, I find that then I can mix the two colors that are bordering it into the center. I found a color palette that I like in a bunch of different green shades. You can kind of tell the, now that they've dried down a little bit, but it's just the bottom shades right here that I really like. So I'm going to make all of my cacti's in one of those shades and colors and then have, I don't know what color the pots, should be. I don't know. I'll probably figure that out once I start painting and getting back into my groove. I'm going to start sketching things out first just to kind of give me a little bit of a baseline when it comes to what to fill in. I do this really a lot with anything that I'm painting and it just takes that pressure off of trying to get things right and perfect the first time so I don't have to stress. Those are all of them done. I think just for safety purposes, I am going to scan these in and have a sketch copy on my laptop and then also on my planner, my planner, my iPad. <laughs> so I can go back in and adjust and fix things if I completely royally mess up. That's the plan. Okay. So while I'm painting this, I only actually have eight that I penciled out and I'm thinking for a decorative quote page, I'm going to want nine pots and then a little quote underneath it. So I'm going to have to pencil out another one, but I figured out what colored potted plants I want. I want a terracotta color. I think that's kind of classic and you really can't go wrong when it comes to the greens. I have never made a terracotta color as far as I know. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm going to look it up because I don't want to waste my gouache paints trying to figure out the exact color that I'm looking for. 
But here's what I got so far. It's actually looking really good. So I got the six of them done right now. I'm working on the last two, just the plant part. And then I'm going to come over and do the pot color. I like that they're all different styled cacti so i'm gonna have to figure out just like a ninth one that can go up there i really like all the little detailing that i can get with my paint that i don't think i would yet be able to accomplish on procreate because i'm not quite an expert there yet They're all done and they look so good. I'm loving how they look. They look so great. So I am getting them scanned in right now on my printer. Hopefully they look good on like the computer once it gets all transferred over there. If not, I did end up taking a photo. So hopefully that works when I start creating the stickers on Procreate. I don't know, I've never done actual art going into a digital printout to then make a sticker. So it's all new for me. I did end up going with nine different cacti instead. So I can have a variety of different stickers throughout. Ooh. It scanned. What was, what was the other thing I was doing? Oh, I'm gonna make like individual sticker stickers as well with like cute little sayings on them. That's gonna be my new ad for this month. And I think that's really it. Let's see how this looks. Oh, okay. That's good let me rotate you so they have all of them in there actually that did go in pretty good i'm gonna just have to touch them up a little bit with some of the edges you can kind of see there's a little bit of like speckling going on in the center too my scanner is very old good morning so i have been busy today getting some of the stickers done i got it all on my ipad yesterday i ended up using the photo image that i took and then removed the background to make sure that they were all like printable stickers and then I started this morning putting them in on actual washi strips that I've been doing now while I was doing that I kind of got a little bit distracted and thought maybe I should make notebooks to go along with this theme like little notepads so things are not going as planned for this vlog I was gonna just do a whole behind the scenes for March but I think I kind of want to test out making notebooks they're not obviously going to be launched this time around I might do it for next month theme and then have like my little plant theme in there as well because I'm gonna have to test a lot of stuff out but if that's something that you're interested in let me know below I am bopping around the house because I don't want to clean my office and it's really messy so I thought I would get other places in the house messy yes I am a procrastinator when it comes to that stuff I thought I would hop back on actually making my products instead of getting distracted with going to find how to make the notepads i will show some more behind the scenes of do like new products and stuff that i am going to start adding to the shop i actually have a discount going on i'm looking at my laptop right now with a february discount so from the 14th 15th and 16th of february this year i'm doing a 20 percent off your orders as long as you spend 20 dollars. so 20 dollars, 20 percent off really nice and so i got this lovely comment on my youtube about creating some saint patty's vibes stickers and i did a valentine's day set and i loved making them i am doing a plant theme for march so i don't have the saint patty's stickers created but i am going to make some because it was requested See, all you gotta do is request and I will make what you are looking for sticker wise. Okay, so the 22nd, this video is holding me to it, the 22nd of February, I will have launched St. Patty's Day themed washi tapes. I think I should probably actually show you what I have done already for the plant theme. Oh, I love it. Here's where I'm struggling. I have a cute little theme going for the plants. So a thicker and then a thinner washi tape for all of the cactuses. And then of course the thin colored ones. I do have my decorative ones here and I really like this looking sharp sticker, 
But I also really like this don't be a prick. I think it's hilarious. So what I think I'm gonna do is make this don't be a prick as an individual sticker instead and then have some other decorative ones as well. Do you guys like having funny sayings in your stickers as like a decorative element when it comes to different themes? Or would you rather something a little bit more like this where it's just nice decorative paint pieces or artwork of some sort. Let me know. I wish I had you guys in real time. I am going to make a post about it on my shop create with Kate and see what you guys think about it. Yeah. Except there's not a lot of you following me over there. So I can't really get your opinion in the moment. You know what I mean? Isn't this thing so cute? Like you put your tea leaves in it and then it just bobs in your tea. Now practically you could probably take it out. I don't because I live on the edge, uh, but it's really yummy. It's like a peach tea. Also, you make the world a better place. You do. Okay, let's get going. glasses are falling off me. Hi, so it's the evening and I am editing up this video. I definitely didn't remember to record anything after that B-roll. So I thought I would show you just kind of what I finished up with. I did end up adding two more products to the line for each month. So we just have the regular washi that I've been using, but I also created this little decorative sticker sheet. So all of those are going to be individual stickers that you can then put in your planner, your journal, whatever you are using to add a little bit of a fancy paint picture, but none of the work. And then this is what I'm so excited about too, is I have these little quotes. So all of these are going to be individual stickers. So succulent, this one here is cactus makes perfect. I'm freaking awesome. I love you very much. Crazy plant lady, free hugs, all of that. So you can either buy them individually or you can get them in a set. And I loved how they all turned out. I am going to have everything on these details posted for Thursday the 15th, 16th. Thursday the 16th is what it is for people to purchase if they want. And I am absolutely obsessed with everything that this theme did from the beginning of actually painting it to creating, to printing them off and actually having the stickers available for you and for me to use. So I will see you in another video. And if you want, you can always check out some more studio vlogs. I'll just have them linked over there. I'll see you in another one. Bye.